In the data center, you've got to simplify, remain scalable, and learn how to automate. Learn more on HP Tech Talk. Welcome to this episode of HP Tech Talks, where we're defining the new style of information technologies with the help of experts from Hewlett Packard. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News, and as I mentioned, the show involves a number of topics, cloud computing, servers, storage, and networking. That's where we're going to focus this week. Jeffrey, what's driving the interest in these types of products? Really, what we've seen is customers are coming to us and saying, hey, HP, how can we really design that next generation data center? They realized that the old model was too complex, it didn't scale, and it was really automated. There was this thing called uh, human middleware, right, where I had to have a network architect always uh, type on the CLI. And unfortunately, we're humans and we do make errors, so uh, it wasn't always the first time uh, everything was golden kind of thing. So what HP is really doing is trying to simplify, scale, and automate this for our customers' data centers. So if you were to quickly summarize, what is the HP Flex Fabric solution? It's really a new architectural design or approach that allows our customers to simplify the network by up to 75%, scale it from you know X amount of servers today to where they need to go in the future, and automate it to get rid of that human middleware that I mentioned. What are some of the major challenges that people are looking at when they begin to implement software-defined networking? Software-defined networking is really trying to open up the network and leverage the capabilities when you look at how I'm trying to roll something out on a business need. You know, so we're basically looking at what the business need is and how we can have the network work with that. Uh, traditionally, what happened was is uh, someone would come to HP or to networking people in general and say, I have this business need. And we would say, too bad, uh, the network is very rigid and it only can fit in this box or this box over here. Uh, so take your pick and that's the only way that we'll be able to deliver uh, the business application for you. So SDN really changes that around and says, what do you really need the network to be able to do for your business? So what are some of the advantages of the HP FlexFabric uh, approach to uh, SDN? We want to make sure that everyone is aware that HP is uh, standards-based and that we have all three aspects of SDN. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, SDN, according to HP, there's three different things. You have the physical layer. These are your switches, your routers that should support an SDN architecture. In our case, all of our hardware is going to support OpenFlow 1.3 uh, by the end of this year. The next layer in that model is the control layer. And this is controllers, and there's a bunch of you know, hype that's been around. You know, Nacera has been bought by a whole bunch of different companies. There's been companies that have been bought that have that controller aspect of it. This is kind of where the rule set is configured and then pushed down via a southbound interface to the networking hardware. And the last aspect of that is the applications. So what are these business applications that our customers are using? And one of the great things that HP can offer our customers is that we have portions in every single one of those layers. So we have the applications from our HP software suite. Uh, we've got a controller. And then we've also got the networking infrastructure. So you have an entirely new series, I guess, the, uh, the, the 12900 series. What's uh, special or unique about uh, that particular piece of gear? Yeah, we're really excited about the 12900 Switch Series platform. It's our next generation core switch that provides high density 10 gig, 40 gig, as well as 100 gig connectivity. So again, going with our simple, scalable, automated, Kind of solutions, you know. So a 12900 series will allow 
a customer to scale from 10 gigabit Ethernet to 40 gig Ethernet to 100 gig Ethernet as their business or as their data center grows. The other big thing about the 12900 series switch is that it's SDN capable. So again, it will support the open flow protocol so that users, as they decide to move towards an SDN strategy, don't need to rip and replace out the hardware. So this includes not only you know a large enterprises where they're potentially using the 12900 as a core, but also in the data center space where if they decide that they want to move into cloud and use an open stack kind of um, implementation, we are able to uh, be leveraged in those environments. But now do I understand that this also allows you to greatly increase the density of, uh, of 40 gig switching? So the 12900 allows scalable, our customers to scale from 10 gig a bit ethernet to 40 gig to 100 gig. So uh, our 10 gig density in a single chassis is 768 line rate ports. Uh, and as we move to 40 gig, that's 256 40 gig ports, which I believe is triple the what the industry is offering today. Uh, from a scalability standpoint, a lot of people are looking at building out these large layer two fabrics. And we're actually able to double the density using our 12900 platform. It's all based on 10 gigabit Ethernet using 32-way ECMP and really building out a uh, fabric with spine and leaf switches. And we get to, I believe it's around 24,000 line rate 10 gig ports. And of course, uh, the challenge is how do you manage all this? How is HP uh, addressing that aspect of the uh, data center? So from a management standpoint, we have a single pane of glass and that is a application called IMC. And IMC can see not only the wired and wireless network, but it can also delve into the physical as well as the virtual world. So being able to move workloads from data center A to data center B can all be done via IMC. The multi-tiered role-based administration that we have in IMC also allows the different aspects of a customer's IT network to be able to control just their aspects of their little uh, fiefdom. So the server guys can see the servers and they're able to control the servers and move workloads via IMC. The networking people, if there's a tiered kind of senior network engineer who can handle the core and the WAN and I have a junior network engineer based on his login can only touch maybe the top of rack uh, switches in a data center or in an IDF. Um, and then we have the storage aspect of that as well. So being able to see all, all the different aspects of a customer's network through this one single pane of glass. So where does security devices uh, fit into the mix? Security for us is paramount. We've built it into the actual switching infrastructure. So there's security aspects that are in our switching platforms. But we also have the leading IPS on the market via our tipping point product. And we are looking at ways to leverage that tipping point IPS and the research that we do on the security aspects uh, and really roll it out using software-defined networking. So we see it as a very integral part within the all holistic approach of, of networking. So if you have responsibility in the IT world, why should you look at HP right now? HP is the largest provider of IT services in the world. We are able to offer our customers uh, a holistic and a complete solution where our competition typically can only handle certain aspects of the overall solution. So HP is uh, number one in blade servers, number two in networking. We have a very strong position in storage with our three par and left hand products. Uh, we have technology services as well as enterprise services to help customers either we can either manage their network entirely or we can help supplement their IT staff to implement these solutions. On top of that, we go all the way down to the desktop. So we have virtual desktop uh, interfaces and be able to deliver VDI solutions. We have printers as well as the laptops and desktops that customers are still using today. If someone was not able to attend Interop, uh, what's a good place for them to go on the web to learn about FlexFabric? 
everything from Interop is online. If you go to www.hp.com forward slash go forward slash flex fabric, uh, that would be a great launching point to be able to research or to look at the other announcements that we made at Interop. Okay, well, I understand that there's a, a maybe a secondary one, uh, hp.com slash go slash networking, which would give you maybe a broader overall view. Thanks for joining us here today. I understand that uh, the networking folks are going to be back for uh, another visit to here in a couple of weeks. Uh, what topics are you going to be addressing at that time? In the future episodes, we want to uh, address the BYOD, so bring your own device uh, solution that we have, as well as our mobility solutions. Thanks very much for joining us here today. Also, thanks to uh, you folks for joining us as well here on HP Tech Talks. We're going to be uh, talking with the folks from servers uh, coming up next week and then followed by storage. And don't forget the cloud folks as well. Uh, if you have questions or comments, uh, please uh, send them to uh, my Twitter, AXMC, or to HPTechTalk at SDRNews.com. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andy McCaskey for SDR News.